It's uh, this one time you're all just thinking, just make me laugh, get off the stage, you giant freak. Fine, fine. Uh, we all on Facebook. Are we all part of the Evil Empire these days? Yes? Yes. Yeah, I left Facebook at the start of the year. And, you know, I just thought, no, fuck this, I'm doing something better. It's, you're all pathetic sheep. I, this is ruining human interaction. I'm going to devote myself to something more. Five months later, I'm back on Facebook because I've got no fucking friends. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I, I guess Facebook, man, like, uh, one of the things that really annoys me about Facebook is just the lies people tell to make themselves sound cooler. And I did it myself. Like, I'd wake up on a Saturday morning, hungover as sin, and the first thing I'd do would say, Josh just went for a run in the park and feels great. <laughs> no, I fucking did it. I sat on my ass and played PlayStation for 12 hours. Facebook would be better if you were forced to tell the most painful, horrible truths about yourselves from the spiteful. Jenny just saw her ex-boyfriend walking around the street with herpes sores on his mouth. That's what you get for fucking that slut. <laughs> to the just plain miserable. John saw a pretty girl on the tube today and will dream of her as he masturbates furiously in a dark, empty apartment for the 45th night in a row. <laughs> oh, God, no wonder why I'm single, man. No, I don't wonder why I'm single, and it's not because I'm a pathetic loser, it's because couples are fucking boring. It's, I mean, there, there are some good couples out there, but for every good one out there, there's five boring ones that just want to talk about ethically sourced turnips and fiscally responsible shoe purchases. Fuck that, I'd rather die alone. It's, I, at my lowest point, man, I, I tried internet dating, but I just felt bad about lying so blatantly. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm interested in a long-term relationship that revolves around Jeremy Kyle and matching slippers. Just sleep with me. Please sleep with me. Uh, but they always saw through that, man. They always saw through that. So, you know, I don't have a girlfriend, and basically all I've got left is comedy and television, and television's fucking shit these days. Like, entertainment in the 21st century is defined by, is defined by human misery and suffering. We're a voyeuristic race, man. It's the only way I can explain Big Brother and reality TV. Like, everyone, when Big Brother's on, everyone just so badly wanted to see the first people to have sex. Who's going to have sex first? Where are they going to have sex? Are they going to be any good? Fuck that. I wanted to see it taken to the next level. I wanted to see the first person get murdered on Big Brother. When people got into a fight, I was like the emperor from Star Wars, man. Embrace the dark side of the force. Kill them. They have no value in the outside world. At least have the decency to die for our entertainment. Yeah. Like, all I'm saying is, like, Big Brother would have been better if the evictee had just walked out of the house and just been shot in the face to discourage other idiots. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have no worth. They're just going back to a life of stacking shelves in Tesco and sniffing glue. Davina should have just walked up to them with a sawn-off shotgun and just said, thanks for playing, Chantel. Bang! You've served your purpose. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is that Big Brother ended, and now we're addicted to human misery. And as soon as Big Brother ended, 33 people got trapped in a mine, and we're supposed to believe it's just a fucking coincidence, man. <laughs> like, it's not right, man. And it, it, Big Brother's over, and now we've got, and we've still got X Factor and 10 trashy tabloid rags dedicated to it. There's this chick on X Factor with a Terminator jawline called Katie, and she's getting fucking slaughtered because she's fame hungry. No fucking shit, she's fame hungry. She's on X Factor. Everyone's fame hungry. Every performer alive of every of any standard is hungry hungry for fame and fortune. <laughs> I have performed in rooms that stank of piss to five drunks unconscious in a corner. I don't do this because I love it. I want fame and fortune. I started out wanting to save the world through comedy, but now I couldn't give a shit. People are shit. The world isn't worth saving. Fuck artistic integrity. I'd rather be making millions, filming love scenes with Scott 
Carl Johansson, where do I sign up to sell my soul? Give me a morning talk show interviewing JLS. So JLS, what inspired you to write Heal This Heartbreak? Oh, you didn't write it. What a surprise. You're such special, unique talents. Well, JLS, before we go to the ad break, I've just got one more thing to say. Bang! You served your fucking purpose! Thing to do. And of course, I can easily, I can easily sort of, you know, oh no.